Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the third and uh, last session of the Linux uh, module. Uh, so we have been uh, through a whole introduction and uh, a whole bunch of uh, useful uh, uh, Linux commands that allow you to manipulate files, uh, directories, uh, doing some uh, basic operations ranging from uh, copy, renaming, removing, uh, etc. Uh, we have been also through uh, some very useful commands that allow you to um, extract information from uh, different files. Uh, I hope you had enough time to uh, to practice and uh, to go through the different options of these uh, commands. Um, if not, I highly encourage you after the end of this uh, module to take time to uh, to practice the different commands. And um, as I told you in the beginning, uh, the only way to get used to Linux and uh, to become um, like a Linux user is uh, practicing and forcing yourself to uh, to use the term the terminal. Um, and I hope by the end of this uh, course, you will all install your uh, Linux in your machines and you will start um, dealing with your uh, data files losing, using Linux. So today's uh, session uh, will cover the different uh, types of uh, permissions that uh, that are used to manage uh, the different files. Uh, we're going to also talk about uh, how to uh, do scripting under Linux in order to automate um, different tasks. And uh, we will also talk about some uh, useful uh, things you have to know about Linux, like the environment variables, uh, etc. Uh, so, as I told you, uh, I'm going to start by explaining uh, the different types of uh, permissions uh, that, do, um, that do manage the use of files and directories under, under Linux. Uh, we can also talk how to change this, um, these permissions uh, in order to allow someone like, to execute um, a program or to do uh, a modification in a given file, etc. Uh, we're gonna also um, go through the different uh, loops and variables and how to uh, generate uh, a simple script to automate tasks. Um, I'm gonna go rapidly uh, through the environment variables and um, explain their uh, role basically. And uh, we will finally end uh, that by uh, seeing the uh, HSH protocol and how you can connect to a remote machine. Um, so remember we first said that uh, Linux is a multitask and uh, a multi-user um, operating system and uh, as you can imagine uh, when you do have a system having uh, different users uh, you cannot allow everyone to do all the different operations uh, in the different files and uh, you cannot allow uh, someone to uh, to do some um, wrong operations in uh, someone else's file uh, there should be some uh, confidentiality that uh, the system should uh, ensure and uh, this is basically what uh, the permissions under Linux uh, do. Uh, so we do have different type of uh, users in Linux. So uh, for each file or, di or directory, basically we do have an owner of uh, of the the file. Uh, we do have a, a, a group to which uh, belong the a given user, and uh, then um, anybody else who is not the user itself or uh, who doesn't belong to the group. Uh, so remember our ls minus l uh, example. So again, the ls is a, a command that lists the content of a given directory, and if you add the option minus l, it gives you uh, all the details about the different files contained in a directory, ranging from uh, the username, the group uh, to which belong the users. 
um, the name of the file, uh, the modification time and date, the size, and uh, the first column was the uh, file permissions. We did not talk in details about that. Uh, so the file permissions is a nine um, is a ten sorry um, characters uh, pattern let's say, and uh, the first one is the type of the file. If you have a dash, this would indicate a normal uh, file, an ordinary file, like a text file, an image, etc. Uh, if you do have a D, it basically indicates a directory, and if you have an L, it indicates a link. We're going to talk later about uh, links, don't worry about that. And then um, the three uh, following characters are the user uh, permissions. So the user is the owner of a, a given file. Uh, followed by three characters um, um, explaining, uh, detailing the uh, permission for the group to which belong a given uh, user. And uh, the three last characters uh, are for the uh, others' permission. So others, again, is anyone who is not the user uh, itself, who is not the owner of the file, and uh, who doesn't belong to uh, the group of um, to which belong that user. Uh, so as you notice here, we have in each three characters block uh, for the different uh, permission groups, uh, three different letters, which are the R, the W, and X. So the R is for read, uh, the W is for write, and the X is for uh, execute. Uh, so here, for example, uh, the owner of the file does have the right to read, to write, and to execute. And if you move to the uh, permission uh, permissions regarding the group, uh, you can see here that uh, we do have an R as a first character and then we have two dashes. So this means, uh, if you have in the first posi position uh, the R written, this means that the group uh, does have the permission to uh, read the file, but th the um, people belonging to this group don't have the permission to write and they don't neither have the permission to execute. It's the same thing for uh, all the other users. Uh, they do have the right to uh, read, but they don't have the right to write, uh, neither the right to uh, execute. Uh, if we had uh, here, for example, W uh, following the R, uh, the group would have the right to read and to write, but not to uh, execute. So the first uh, character is always for write, then uh, read, sorry, then write, and then uh, execute. Uh, so there is a small difference between uh, permissions uh, when they are uh, on files and when they are on directories. So basically, uh, the, the, the access permissions on file um, give you the right, uh, give you the, the different uh, rights that the different users have on that specific files. Whereas if you are uh, talking about um, permissions regarding directory, it concerns uh, the files that belong to uh, the directory. Uh, so f as far as far as the files, the ordinary files are concerned, uh, the R indicates the permission uh, to read. Uh, so you basically can open the file, read the content, and do also uh, a copy of that file. Uh, the W indicates again the permission to write, and uh, this will give you the permission to uh, modify a given file. If it's a text file, for example, you will be able to add some uh, lines, to remove some lines, etc. And the X would indicate uh, the execution permission, and um, this typically will give you the right to run and execute the file. Of course, if it's appropriate, I mean, you cannot run a text file. And uh, we're going to talk later like uh, about running programs uh, such as shell scripts or um, any other type of program that you uh, can run. Uh, so for the directories, the read uh, means uh, that you can list the content of a whole directory. That means that you can, uh, doing an ls command, you will be able to see all the different files that, uh, that are under that directory. 
the W indicates that uh, users uh, have the right to de delete files uh, from uh, that directory or uh, to move files into it. I can, for example, bring uh, a copy of a given file from another directory to that directory if I do have the right to write. Uh, and the X means that you have the right to access the files in the directories and um, this implies that you, uh, you may read the files in the directory provided that you have the read uh, permission, of course, on each uh, individual file. Uh, so this means even if you have the execute uh, right on the given directory and then you don't have uh, um, the read write on a specific file, you want to be able uh, to read that file. Uh, so, of course, uh, the owner of a file is uh, able to change the permission on a given file or a directory and uh, this can be done using the chmod uh, command. So the syntax of chmod is chmod uh, followed by options, uh, the permissions and uh, then the file name. Uh, so you basically need to specify ch mode, uh, permissions and file name and as for the other commands, uh, options are uh, optional. So uh, again, only the owner of a given file can use ch mode to change uh, the permissions and uh, you have to define permissions for the owner, the group uh, of users and uh, others. Um, there are two ways uh, of specifying permissions. Uh, the first one use uh, alphanumeric characters and the second one use uh, octals, who are, uh, which are digits from 0 uh, to 7. Uh, here are the different uh, options that we can use with uh, ch mode. Uh, the u stands for uh, user, the g stands for group, the o stands for other, a for all. Uh, R for read, W for write, and delete, of course, uh, X for execute. You can use the plus sign uh, to add a permission and uh, the minus sign to take away or uh, retrieve a permission. Uh, so here are the different octal permissions. Uh, the 4 stands for read, the 2 stands for write, the 1 stands for execute, and 0 stands for uh, no permission at all uh, in a given file or directory. Uh, let's take an example. Uh, if we want to, for example, uh, give uh, the right to um, the user who is the owner of the group to do a write, uh, read and execute, uh, we're gonna give the permission to, re to read and execute for the group and uh, only read for uh, any, any other user on a file called a uh, file name. File name. Um, so it can be done um, using this command. So we are saying that the permission for the users are uh, rwx, uh, the permission for the group are rx, and the permission uh, for uh, the others are just uh, the read. Uh, we can do it using uh, the octal um, and uh, this would uh, be equivalent to uh, chmod754 file name. Remember we said that the r uh, f the is 4, uh, the right is 2 and the x is 1. So we wanted to give to the user the right to uh, read, uh, write and execute. So it's going to be... 4 plus 2 plus 1, which is the 7 uh, mentioned here. Uh, for the group, we want to give, a, to give a it the right to read and to execute. So the R will be 4, the W is 0, because we don't have... Um, we are not given uh, the right to uh, write in the group. And then the X uh, is 1, so uh, 4 plus 0 plus 1 is the 5 mentioned here. And uh, to others, we're gonna give them just the right to uh, read. Uh, so read is uh, 4, and then they don't have the right to write, which is 0, and then they don't have the right to execute, which is 0. So this is what explains the 4 here. Uh, both of these commands are equivalent, and you can use uh, any one of them if you feel comfortable enough with this 
uh, octal uh, symbols, you can uh, simply uh, use them to update um, rights on rights and permissions uh, on the different files.